We are live. We are. And today we've got Scotty and Danny Bowen with us. We had the pleasure of meeting these two amazing twin brothers at um, the Salt Lake City Wake Up Now convention. And they just brought so much delight that we thought that we should share them with our viewers and welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us, yeah. Oh, it, it is our pleasure. It's our pleasure. I'll tell you, you two um, are, when we met you, we knew, in the, and at the convention, the concept of uh, teampreneur came up, so it's a really a big uh, concept sort of hit in our culture here, and boy, you two, com you two came quite to mind. Um, so you're, you're twins? But you're also business partners, and we would love to hear uh, a bit of your story and how it is that you've come to be um, in business together. Yeah, certainly. Um, I don't know, Scotty, maybe I'll, I'll go ahead for a minute. Sure. Um, yeah, uh, I know we have a short amount of time, so we'll, we'll pack a punch in just a small amount of time here. Um, yeah, Scotty and I, we're, we're twin brothers and, and business partners uh, online. We uh, started out seriously about a year and a half ago. Scotty was dabbling a little bit before me and got me into it. And, uh, you know, I saw the value there, and, and, we, and I really wanted to work together with him. We, we do everything together. So we, we're business partners. We also go to the gym every morning together. Um, we're on the same schedule. We, uh, we help out our family business on the weekends together. So um, it, it's great to sort of have a companion like that. So anyways, we... We've, we've been online now, seriously, for about a year and a half. Uh, i got to say, we didn't really make any money, and then we were learning the ropes for the first almost year of that whole time. Uh, but for about the last six to eight months or so, we've been full-time online and uh, have been able to, to make it a you know a career for ourselves. And so it's it's been a great time. I don't know if you want to add anything to that, Scotty. Yeah, um, you know, like Dan Danny was saying, uh, We've we've always been looking for a, a better way to you know live the life that we want and create that you know that that awesome money and help people in in the process you know create that lifestyle and and make a difference in in their life and not only their life but their family's life and and their friends' life and you know we've we've um we've been getting by you know and stuff and but but you know we're. We always thought that there's something better out there. So, so Danny, you know, like he was saying, he was doing a few other things before um, before online marketing, and I was I I've been you know looking at this online marketing stuff. It was like two years ago that I actually got it got into it, and uh, and I was like, oh, this this looks pretty easy. I mean, if 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 these guys can do it, I think we can do it, you know. And so I started by myself in a in a, in a different company, um, working on it and uh, just kind of doing it part time. Like, okay, you know, we could, you know, just put my foot in the door and uh, send some ads here, and maybe work on it like an hour a day or something. Um, but I realized that there's there's a lot more to it. And uh, and I, Danny was doing real estate at the, at that moment, um, fixing and flipping houses. And I was, uh, you know, into the online marketing um, niche. And I, I guess if you want to back up, before this, um, we actually have a family-owned um, din uh, dinner theater that we uh, own as a family. and We run it together. Um, so you come and eat dinner and, and, you, and you watch a live show. And we do musicals and whatnot. So that's our main gig that we've been doing. For uh, We've been in the theater for like the last 15 years um, here in I guess we're not in Colorado right now, but in Colorado we have the theater there. Um, so that that's my main source of in, income, and it was paying the bills. You know, I I love what I'm doing. You know, we we actually do a little bit of acting and singing, if you can believe it. <laughs> and uh, so that wasn't actually paying the bills. Um, it, it was paying the bills, but wasn't letting us live the lifestyle that we wanted. So I went. You know, I'm like, oh well, I can help work the theater and our our dinner theater. While we do online marketing, um, so long story short, Danny was interested. He he saw the presentation videos that we uh, that we were in the company before, and he's like, "Whoa, this looks this looks awesome, man. We could we could maybe do this as a team." And um, at first, you know, we were gonna create separate accounts and uh, you know help each other out by signing under under each other. But I was like, "Why don't we just not compete against each other?" 
and be one team together. Um, and just like you were you were you were saying um, that you know be a teampreneur together and um, help hold each other accountable, work work together, and help each other out in the in the process. And so far, um, you know, we've been online together for about a year and a half, and we've been within the Simple Freedom team in Wake Up now for about seven months now. Um, so that 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 first year, we 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 did struggle. Um, but but this th these last seven months have just been we've met a solid team we've uh, we've connected with these guys uh, gals and guys and um, really it is about holding a team and um, the people you meet is so crucial and um, being being around your mentors and your role models and um, we were around that within the Simple Freedom team, and uh, we just never looked back. And now we're here, and it's uh, it's been a blessing. And we're making residual income now. And I just never thought, you know, we'd get to this point. And uh, it's it's uh, it's been a pretty crazy ride so so far. So so that's a little bit of our story. Um, I could go on about what what else we do. We have, you know, we we live in the mountains. We have a bunch of hobbies. We go hiking and skiing and stuff and whatnot too. So. Um, so that's that's been fun, and uh, we love to travel with family and uh, meet awesome people like these ladies down here. So, um, so we're, we're we're just people person, people people, and we love to help people out. And it, it, I just can't wait to uh, you know get that wolfpack mentality we've been talking about, and just uh, create a dynasty here with this with the Civil Freedom Team. Now, Meeting you at the convention this weekend, I mean, it, it just was so much fun and, and to be able to spend time and talk with you. What kind of value did you get by you being able to connect with everybody in that more relaxed um, atmosphere to see them as they are? Did oh, yeah. you find that really um, beneficial to you? Yeah, you know, we've, we've been to... Um, Quite a few. Well, not quite a few. We've been to about four events over the last year and a half, um, and and so it's always great to get around like-minded people, to get in the same room as those kinds of people that are running toward the same goals, financial goals or uh, lifestyle goals as you are. And the thing it does for me and, and Scott, because I know we've talked about it, and really what it does for everybody is it, it sort of helps clarify your vision and let you know that it's possible. It lets you know that all these people around you. Are running for that vision, and then, and then you know, these are the people who have achieved that already. And you meet them, you talk to them, and they're just normal people like yourselves, you know. And uh, yeah. they, they've done it all by by supporting a team, building a team, and uh, and really putting their team first. And so that's something that that we've taken away from events is just keep going forward. They're not superstars. They started from the same spot that you started at. Um, and, and so, and this event, I got to say, was was the best one we've been to. One, my my favorite event so far, just because um, we're now a part, and, and I know you guys are too. We're part of a team that really supports each other, and and really thrives on that um, teampreneur mentality. And so, uh, when we meet each other in person, it's almost as if we're already a big family. Uh, and and so that's the kind of atmosphere that we found that you need to to just really be successful in this industry. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I picked up on, when, and I think that a lot of people have the misconception when they first start out in in this online uh, venue, is that they're going to make money right away. And some do. Some are very fortunate, and, and they do. But others have a learning process to go through. And um, for you, it was, what, seven months or something, and, and you were able to kind of like start turning things around. But... Um, I think that's very valuable for people to hear that, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit, but don't give up. Don't give up. This, you know, find a team, find a, uh, you know, that place that you can get that support that you need to be able to uh, journey forward. I think that's huge for people to hear. Yeah, I, I, I totally, totally agree with you, and, and like, Brandon Brandon Boyd was actually saying to actually to sustain an actual business, you know, to actually give it a go, you have to give it a 12 month period of work to, you know, to see if anything happens. You can't just, you know, dip and dabble for like the first 2 months and then just give up, you know. Um and but the great thing about us here is you have a team 
backing you up, a, a, an entire team backing you up, and we use teamwork to help each other hit ranks, to help each other to help each other out every single day. And you're you're not left alone, you know, wondering what to do, or where and where to go, where to where to find this capture page, where to where to how to talk to people when you when you get prospects. So um, it's it's just an it's it's an awesome feeling to be welcomed into a family, I guess per se, and uh, feel that you that unity of of being with with a team, and not being left alone. And then once you are here, you guys got you know treat it as a business, treat it as a job. And uh, if you really want to, you know, be successful, you know, give you, give yourself that 12 month period, and uh, really just go go balls to the walls and just go for it, you know. So uh, I I, to yeah, I totally agree with you. I wanted to add on that too is that with, with the um, that's a good point, Kathleen. How you how people think that they're just going to jump on and then within a couple weeks they're going to supplement their income or they're going to have plenty of money coming in. Um, you know, the first program that Scott and I started in together, uh, I'll give you just some of the stats, and it might sound a little discouraging, but it's led to where we are today, and it's just something that you have to go through. Um, you know, the, the first program we jumped in, we, we probably dropped uh, five, about around five to $6,000 just to, to get all in, to get all, all their products, and, and so we're able to make commissions off that. Uh, and then also we traveled around to events, uh, three different events with that certain company, and so there was airfare, there was hotels, um, and then aside from that, we spent money on you know dabbling in traffic, buying traffic here, Facebook ads, things like that. Um, so you know, I'm guessing altogether we may have spent around ten thousand dollars in that first seven months to a year with with making zero dollars. So we invested around ten thousand and and made zero at first, and and I got to say it was. Uh, uh, it's definitely worth it, but I also will put in that you don't have to take that route. There's plenty of uh, um, systems or companies or teams where you don't have to spend $10,000. You don't have to spend $5,000. And so do your due diligence and know what you're getting into. Um, although the route we took, I don't regret it. it. It was a good learning experience, and we have to learn the ropes. That's some, something that, that people forget when they come online is that it really is a whole other business. You can't expect to jump into like the restaurant business and not invest some money or take some education. Um, I know it's like, it's an age-old metaphor, but or an, a comparison. But you wouldn't go to be a doctor and, and jump into surgery your third day. You know, it, we all have to go through education. We have to learn the ropes, and the best way to learn is to is to learn by doing. So I just wanted to put that in there. But you know, I, I too have spent a lot of money learning this profession and. I look at it, you know, I think you do go through various um, companies or, or learning experiences, but in relation to um, spending four years in college, and there's nothing wrong with that, the cost has been um, minimal compared to that, but the value in return and what you learn when you've got hands-on and you're in the trenches and you are actually out there doing it, is pretty invaluable. So, uh, yeah, I think we all we all have to go through a certain learning curve and and take the good with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. totally, totally. So I have a question, guys, um, yeah. regarding um, teaming up and you holding each other accountable. I guess you're gym buddies too, so that's got to help yeah. in terms of uh, keeping you accountable. So it kind of spills probably right over um, and. Right now, even in the company team that you're in, there's a fair amount of accountability. So regarding teams, um, I think there's a lot of value to, instead of being so um, much on your own and kind of doing your solo thing, being part of a team, um, I would think contributes a fair amount to success. Would you think that um, being part of a team together and also the team you're in now is why you're having success so quickly? Yeah, look, I'll, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll jump in real quick. I'll let you go then, Scotty. But yeah, I, I gotta say that there are days when I don't know how I would do it if if we weren't a team. First of all, a team as a duo together. I'll talk about that first. You know, we we definitely hold each other accountable. Um, if I'm having a, a down day or I'm real frustrated, uh, Scotty's usually positive. He's there to to yeah. push me through or help me out. 
you know, um, or vice versa. And we're just, it's good to have someone to discuss strategies or, um, you know, trainings with who's it's right there with you. Who you're going to meet every morning at the gym. You can talk business, um, and it's it's someone you've known your whole life. You know, so that aspect has helped a lot. And not everyone can have that or has that option to have that. So we're, we're lucky in that respect. Um, but as far as the whole entire team goes, yeah, it's been um, the the one thing I tell people that has helped us throughout um, this this network marketing industry helped us to make any kind of money are the relationships we've built with other people. Um, a lot of people try to just skip around that. They try to buy traffic. They try to, oh, I'm going to put this on full automation. It's going to be totally automated. Um, we found that there has to be some degree of relationship building and you know team building per se, because um, if you're not helping people get what they want, you're you're just you're not you're not doing anyone any good, and you're not going to get what you want. So yeah, definitely the the team that we're in right now. Um, we actually, when we started to have some success, it was when we, we joined the current company we're in now, and we joined a team of guys who, who we've known before and have met before, um, and it was that certain collaboration that allowed us to, to sort of jump levels, you know, and, and, and have some success. So, yeah, definitely it's all about who you surround yourself with, who you choose to, to work with, and who you choose to be on your team because they can either make you or break you. Yeah, I and I I want to add on that too. And um, what Danny was saying, we see each other almost every every day, so we do hold each other accountable, kind of. And we we pump each other up, you know, to get to the next level, to to um to help uh, build our team and um and and their team's team, you know. And you know, like like if we're stumped and we don't we don't know how to answer something, we can also go to our entire team, you know, and go to ask our upline, you know, or, or um, ask someone else that might know it. Post it in our group, and everyone, someone will, will know the answer, and will, and will give us feedback. So it's it's reassuring to to know that it, I don't just have my business partner, Danny, to help me out here. I have an, an entire team that I can go to to um, to help me if I'm stuck, you know. And um, and that's, the, I think that's that's exactly what's helped us out, Emily, with our, uh, with, uh, you know, Ranking up and um and actually seeing su success faster is because we had we had um, things figured out for us and, and answered quickly and we weren't left in the dark like oh how do we do this um you know everyone's alert and right there helping us even if we can't figure it out and um that's really driven us and uh, and helped us out and of course once we know that knowledge we can pass it down to our team. Um, you know, and we can we can be that outlet for them to ask questions, and then of course if we don't know it, we can just ask our team. You know, so well, and, it's 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 a great thing. And really, you can just look at the the stats or numbers for us. When we first started in our our first program, we joined some you know guru off of a paid ad who wasn't team oriented at all, and we had no we had no team atmosphere really. We had no one to connect with, and look where what we did. We did nothing. As soon as we transferred over into a family-like, supportive team atmosphere, I mean, that's just when it took off for us. Yeah, and you know what? I am so happy having come off that convention to hear that this was going to be made into a corporate culture, that teampreneur is being a corporate um, culture because just as you've said, um, something similar happened to me too. I kind of came in there and although I think my upline did try to realize that he had to go that way, um, just the demand. He didn't want to be a schmuck and he, you know, he just realized he had to step up and, and he did a great job to be quite honest with you. Um, but nevertheless, um, people weren't a lot of people just weren't making um, success over there because they really weren't getting the kind of um, support that they needed. They were getting support in the SEO side of things, but not everyone wants to become a brilliant SEO person and or spend all their time out there, you know, backlinking left and right and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but being here and having a culture that totally supports um, team is fabulous. And as you well know, we met you at um, at a at our house, we had rented a house out in Salt Lake City, our team, and our team had really wanted to be able to get together and mastermind, and, and our fearless leader, uh, Steve Barnes, he was determined that we were not going to leave until everybody had um, 
that what they had gone there to get that they had. And um, we all left just so much more connected and satisfied because unfortunately a lot of us, we are kind of solopreneurs. You know, we are off on our own, in our own homes, home-based businesses. Sometimes spouses are involved, sometimes they're not. And, you know, it can be quite lonely. So being able to have camaraderie and support and have people really validating your choices and helping you in your stumbling areas, that's amazing. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. And you two seem You've had all these years. I know I, I'm actually not sure how old you are, but you've had all these years to kind of um, blend and dis discern who plays what role or how you, how you two uh, cooperate with each other over the years. Um, any kind of advice you might want to give our viewers regarding how to cooperate with one another on a lifelong team situation? Sure. Dan, you, you want to go first? <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. You can go well, you first. know, you, you just got to um, you gotta be have a daily routine, you know, a, D, a DMO, a daily method of, of action. And um, and you got to be able to, uh, you know, get comfortable of, of what you're doing every, every day to build your business and alongside your business partner, of, of course. If, if he's doing one thing, you know, you got to be responsible for doing your thing. Um, and that goes along for your team too. That's under you, and uh, you can't. You know, I we've we've gone through this before, where where you know you'll you'll get sidetracked and go and do something else, and then your 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 duty for that day doesn't get completed, and and you know and 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 we kind of you know sometimes it gets frustrating, of course, you know, and and uh, you can get to it later, but when you have you know a certain thing that you um, are required to get done, and not required. You know, you, you can get it done whenever you want. But that day, you know, if I don't get something done that I've written down that I want to do, I I kick myself, you know, and I tell Danny, I'm like, ah, oh, man, I, I I didn't get this done today. Um, so we we cope with it, you know. And um, like if I'm out work, you know, doing something else, like driving and running errands, I'll call him up. Hey, I didn't um get back to so and so today. Do you think you could hop on the computer and get back to them for me? Um. So that's when teamwork comes in too, uh, but but it's uh you know it's it can be frustrating, but uh but in the end it all gets done and we do use that teamwork and um you know team teampreneurship to help each other out when we're when we're you know when we're busy or or you know doing something else or not don't have enough time. So um overall it all works out. So I don't know if you yeah, want to add would, on that, Danny. Yeah. I would say that, um, that the biggest part about about our advice I can give about making teamwork work, especially in a an intimate team environment like Scotty and I have, it's just upholding your end of the bargain. Um, everyone's putting in their share. You need to put in your share. Um, you know that you can go on a bigger level with that with a whole big team where everyone needs to be doing what they're supposed to, uh, and then and then they're going to get the help that they need. So with, with Scotty and I as as a, a two member team, it's uh, you know I it's it, I feel bad if we go a day and he has connected with 20 people and I haven't done anything you know um, it, and sometimes we can let it go for a day or two but if it goes on for a few days it's like hey you know what the heck kid? what are you what are you doing you know and we can hold each other accountable that way and the same goes for a larger team I mean even our personal uh, larger team below us we try we keep in contact with them weekly and and it's sort of like um, hey, what have you done? What, what are you doing? And the first thing we ask them when someone says, "Hey, I need a little help here," or "Can you, can you, you know, give me a person here?" or Whatever, it's it's just always like, "Well, hey, have you done this? Have you been doing this? Have you been taking these action steps? Have basically have you been upholding your end of the bargain?" So um, that that's the advice I would have. Just make sure that that you're upholding your end of the bargain, and if you have expectations for the other person, realize that they also have them for you as well. Yeah, and 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 what's the good thing is is to stay in contact with your business partner daily, and um, I I would say if 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 you have people on your team that are really running with with you, you know check in with them at least you know once or twice a week just to be like hey, um, update them on things or see how things are going, see if they need help, uh, you know the new um, marketing thing that you just learned, share share it with them. 
every knowledge that you get, um, share it with your team so so they can duplicate what you're doing and um, you know be be in the know of of what's going on. You know, so um, it's always good to share what you've learned with your team. Um, I know I know what I've learned over this last weekend. Um, I've already brought home and and you know we've actually physically called our teammates and be like, hey. Um, something's big. Something big is gonna happen. You guys need to get plugged in, and you just let them know. Be be yourself and be genuine, and you know they'll they'll find the passion through your voice and your excitement, and they'll get excited too. So it's it's a uh, it's something that you need you know um, share with 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 your teammate, and then along with your business partners too. So so yeah. Boy, that that is great info right there, and the encouragement to um, mm -hmm. have a weekly team meeting of some sort to keep yeah. everybody accountable because otherwise people tend to kind of you know they lose contact they, they well you know well if I don't do it today it's okay nobody's really watching anyway but if somebody knows if you know that somebody's got an expectation of you I think you are more likely to to get in there and, and get with the process yeah. So I think that's a, a, a wonderful takeaway right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. And if they've in, in invested time already within the company, they've invested money in, in invested time, why not hold them accountable? You know, you know, it's like you you're doing this for your dream, you're you're doing this for your family. I'm gonna hold you accountable for your family. So this is you know, I'm and I'm gonna help you throughout this this whole journey for you. So it's yeah, it's, it's, it's it, definitely something. It is about support, and we've we've noticed that. And I know we're we're getting short on time here, but it's about it's about supporting the team and being there for them. I was actually talking to a person on Facebook chat yesterday or two days ago, um, another marketer in a different company, and uh, you know we're always just connecting with people. And I I just told him, hey, yeah, man, it's been busy, 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 been busy with the team and all this stuff. And, and he threw at me this this quote from another well-known guy in the industry, um, saying, when, "When your team gets bigger, that shouldn't take up more of your time." And I just think that's a bunch of bull crap. Um, it's, uh, I, I mean, to a certain extent, yeah, you want to live a life of freedom. You don't want to be tied down to your computer and your team. Um, but initially, you do want to build that relationship with them. You want to share what's working, and you want to make sure they're duplicating. Um, I, I just happen to know the guy personally, and I know that he just plugs people in and leaves them and doesn't do anything else. He doesn't, you know, and if they can't figure out the system, they can't figure stuff out, then they're on their own, and, and that's all there is to it. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, I just it's connecting with them, building that personal relationship, and giving them the support that they need. And eventually, once you create that front line of leaders or support givers in your team, they pass it on down and you don't have to deal with it as much anymore, and you can start living, you know, you have a little more time freedom then. And you just keep gifting that that gift and teaching that mentality down the line so they teach it to their frontline leaders and so on and so on. So initially, I, I just hate it when I see that out there. Don't let, don't let someone tell you or sales pages tell you. It's just set it and forget it, plug people in, and you don't have to talk to anybody. You know, I the one thing I sort of hate is is uh, put down the phone, pick up the paycheck. I sort of hate that because at, in the beginning, you should pick up the phone and talk to your team and make sure they're duplicating and create a really, you know, a relationship with them. Once they got it down, then you can you can put down the phone, go to Mexico, and let them teach their front line. So. <laughs> and I think that everybody wants to be acknowledged. You know, if, if they bought into something and they, you know, they want to hear from you. If they don't pick up the phone, if you've made that effort, then that's that's their choice. But um, but yeah, I I think that most people want that acknowledgement to know that somebody cares. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. um, I think that that's where people see their greatest success. Because don't we all want to please somebody else? Don't we all want to be liked and and all of that? So um, you don't want that feeling of letting somebody down if if they put their trust in you. So. You know, just another another great tidbit right there. I just think you guys are, are you know, sharing a lot of wealth for the people and um, good info. Yeah, and Appreciate and we it. hope we hope people can take this and you know 
apply it with their business if they have a business or or if they've been wanting to start some start something up you know just know that there are good people in this industry and we generally want to help so uh, so uh, to you guys here we go <laughs> <laughs> and and people will do what you do yeah oh yeah and yep you're not Start doing it do. they're probably not going to either <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. We are going to have to wrap it up, and you have given us such great value. And not only that, you know, um, did I see how people can connect uh, with you folks? Um, yeah, I, I, put, I, put my Facebook, I put my Facebook on my bar down there. Um, that, you know, that's our main thing is Facebook. We love chatting, connecting, and getting to know people on Facebook. So, um, if, if you want to check out our blog, you can go to bbros, uh, bbrosblog.com, and we're always sharing value there as well. And um, for for some reason, my uh, Hangout toolbox isn't working right working right now, but you can find me on Danny's Facebook and his friends list. So uh, feel free to friend request us, guys. Connect with us on Facebook. We'd love to chit chat and uh, bring some value to you. Yeah, you folks are like a two for one. So. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So, with an, an incredible team uh, preneur attitude, so anyone that joins up with you two are going to be very, very blessed. And I definitely appreciate um, so much of the conversation we had because hearing our voices and getting that personal relationship, this is network marketing, by the way. So how better to do it than through our voices and through connecting with people, and you two are just the poster boys of that. So, um, thank you so much for joining us, and um, we are so blessed to have had you. So, with that, we need to say goodbye. Everybody have a great, peaceful day. God bless. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>